Hi everybody, Broken Ebs here. Welcome to today's video. So today's video is twofold. Number one, I'm going to create a new thumbnail for my Euro Truck Simulator 2 because uh, this one is getting a little old and a little tired. Uh, and number two, I'm going to set up my Guild Wars 2 character uh, ready for an upcoming series that I'm going to do on Guild Wars 2. That should be good fun. So for those of you that do watch all of the video, my sincere thanks. I am on my beloved MX Linux. Unlike most Linux YouTubers, I do actually do stuff on this PC. <laughs> Just saying, other than internet, email and social networking. So the first thing I'm going to do is move that thumbnail out. So uh, let's open this image that I've downloaded off the internet via GIMP. Uh, there we go, and the size is the wrong size. So the first thing I need to do is resize the image, and I want it 1280. Uh, and I'm going to disconnect the auto scaling because I want it 1280 by 720 scale. Yeah, that looks okay. And I'm going to export that uh, as ETS2. Um, and I need to change it because at the minute it's a WebP image and I want to save it as a ping. So let's go ahead and save it as a ping image to my desktop. On the desktop, there we go. And let's close that down. So now we've got a new image. That's the one I'm going to use so these two can go in the trash can. I always move stuff to the trash can just in case I ever want to get it back and I usually leave it in the trash can for a good week and then if I don't want anything in there I'll just delete it. Trash can is a real useful way of moving stuff out your way but still keeping it accessible. Okay so let's go ahead and open up this image in GIMP. Now all I'm going to do here is demonstrate my limited capabilities but hey ho it's what it is. So I want to use that. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a border via GIMP. There we go. So we've got a black border. The next thing I need to do is bring in a logo, Euro Truck Simulator 2 logos. Uh, and I've got no idea where this is. Because uh, I've got a gazillion logos in here. Um, and it's no good me doing a search either. Uh, we'll have the YouTube one. We'll open that up, and the first thing I'm going to do is resize the layer. Mm, 1280, I don't need it that big. I usually go with 390, actually. Uh, but I've got a feeling that even that will be a bit too big. Uh, well, yeah, it's a bit too big, 390. So let's go ahead and reduce the layer even more. And let's make it 290. I don't want it too tiny. And that will do beautifully. Yeah. Uh, ish yeah that's pretty much perfect okay the next thing i want to do is bring in a euro truck simulator 2 logo and as you can see i've got bajillions of ping logos downloaded and i haven't got a clue which one is where i'm so unorganized i don't catalog them i just dump them all in a folder uh, and then when i want to find one well it's devil take the hindmost, of course. Uh, scale layer. Uh, oh, really? We don't want to scale the original image. Mm, maybe that is the layer that I've selected. We'll find out in a minute. So, um, 390 should do. Uh, yeah, and that's fine. Didn't really want to do that, did I? Uh, as I did say at the beginning of the video, all I'm really going to do is demonstrate my incompetence. Uh, GMC, that will do fine just there. Uh, I need the Euro Truck Simulator 2 logo, which is the one I was originally after. Uh, yeah, I do want the Pro Mod logo as well. Uh, but I want to make that a bit smaller. So we'll scale that. 380. We'll make it 180. 
we don't want to make it so little that you can't see them uh, but we don't want to make them so big that they dominate the actual image itself okay will we ever get to euro truck simulator 2 yay there we go that's the one i wanted let's convert it <coughs> and let's scale it and again we'll go for 390 don't know if that's going to be too big hmm. actually i think that's all right even though the truck uh, kind of interferes with the stobart bit I am going to make that 290 actually, which is going to make it a little bit smaller and not as dominant. Uh, but it will allow us to get it off the truck, which is nice. There we go. Uh, uh, last but not least, I want some text on there. And the text I want is my beloved MX Linux because that's what I'm playing all this stuff on. Uh, hmm, Ebes Halls, that, that would do. I think I've gone by the MX Linux logo, actually. Ditch Windows, no, we don't want that. The hell is the MX Linux logo? There we go, there we go. Uh, and the first thing I'm going to do is rotate it. 90 degrees and then i'll scale this 390 as well but we want to scale the height not the width so let's go ahead and get that done get it done and drop that down in the corner as you can see it's a mess uh, but i do love creating a mess need to think of it about it, am I missing anything? Well, I'm missing two logos. Um, so let's go back into logos and uh, I can't even see it, let alone find it. SOB. Uh, there we go. I want that one. I want that one. Stroke association because, yes, I've had a stroke. Uh, and it's not like I keep reminding you all, is it? Just saying. So we'll make that 240 by 175 because we don't... Mm, even that is too big. Too, too big. So let's go for 140. We don't want it that small that you can't see it, but we don't want it that big that it outshines all the other logos. That'll do. And then the last logo that I want is... What? You might say what? Uh, that's it. What? World of Trucks, of course. And let's scale that. I'll try 202. Probably too big. No, that's all right. That'll do nicely. And that wants to go along the bottom there. Beautiful. And there we go. That's my thumbnail complete. All that leaves us to do is to overwrite the original ping file. There we go. And we've got a nice little ETS2 thumbnail. There we go. Ready for the uh, trucking. That is using Pro Mods. That is connected to World of Trucks. That does use the full GMB build. I have had a stroke. I am on MX Linux. And it is Euro Truck Simulator 2. It is on YouTube. And we will be using a Kalina skinned truck for the whole series. So there we go. A nice factual thumbnail if not clickbaity and attractive like a lot of the thumbnails are okay so that's the first bit of the video done next bit of the video well uh, we need to go ahead uh, and set up my beautiful free to play character uh, he is free to play because Guild Wars 2 is free to play even if you buy the expansions it's still free to play <laughs> uh, just saying so there we go we're logged in let's load up the guild wars do uh yes i must be off my rocker i must be mad so the character we're going to be playing is of course 
poorly pause so I need to create a thumbnail for this so I'm going to give it a 20 second delay and the reason is is I need everything on the screen to piss off and just leave my beautiful elementalist poorly pause there there we go perfect Yep, and there we go. One perfect thumbnail. You gotta love the Linux, didn't you? Just saying. You gotta love it. Okay, so let's close that down. Uh, uh, let's go back into GIMP. And let's open it up. It would have been easy to have just gone into screenshots, actually, but anyway. File, open, EB and screenshots and come all the way down to the bottom oh is that the one yeah that's the one i must have sorted it by date order so it is 1280 by 720 so again i'm going to border it uh you don't have to put a black border on you can do a rainbow multicolored border if you like uh you can choose any color you want i just like the black one uh so the next thing i'm going to do is add a couple of logos because I always like to logo them up uh, and we'll add the Guild Wars 2 flame red logo yeah we'll convert it that's fine and we'll scale it and we'll do it 390 which is just a figure it's not scientific it's just a figure that works for me uh, and actually that's a bit too big so I'm going to make it 290. I always have a starting point. And then we get there in the end. There we go. So there's our Guild Wars 2 logo. Mm. I would have liked it on the centre of that mountain. But anyway, it's what it is. Uh, so now we need to add another couple of logos. So... I want people to know uh, that I've had a stroke and I'm not fully functional. So I'll make this logo 140. Uh, but I don't want to shove it up their arse. I just want them to be aware that uh, because I've had a stroke, for me personally, uh, easier is better. I am going to be running this on Linux. So uh, we're not going to be running Blisherhood or anything else. We're going to do it all kind of old school. And we'll make this 150. We've got to have tucks on the thumbnail. How could you have a thumbnail and not have tucks on it? Uh, mm. uh, that's about it. That'll do. I'm not particularly particular. Uh, openers, layers. Uh, I don't know if I have. Uh, I don't, I'm sure I don't. Uh, But we will have a look. I do want the little MX Linux. Uh, layer, scale layer. I'll make this one 290, nearly 300. And that's going to fit nicely under the Guild Wars 2. There we go. Just so people know that I'm making and playing the whole series on MX Linux. Because the Tux logo on its own doesn't really mean anything, does it? Let's be honest. And there's our poorly poor. So we'll bring poorly poor in. Uh, we'll transform it 90 degrees and we'll scale it. Uh, we don't want it the full, do we? So uh, I'm going to make this 490. I think that'll be big enough. And that should allow us to nicely fit it in that corner there. Uh, without it being too big there we go so again looks a little bit messy but that's me messy messy boy uh, we could make poorly poor 
a bit bigger. So we've currently got it on 490. Let's try it on 590. And hopefully it will fill that corner out a bit better. Yeah, you see it's just too big. Hmm. So uh, let's make it 550 should do us. That should make it bigger than the original 490, but allow us to fill the corner out without it look liking, looking like it's disappeared. There we go. So Guild Wars 2, we've got Paulie Paul, we've got MX Linux. I'm sure you guys and girls all contribute. Ah, I didn't really want to do that, did I? I've just overwrote the original screenshot. Uh, but nevertheless, export to the desktop. And we can export it as it is with its original name and then rename it. So let's close that away. Uh, okay, so I didn't save it to the desktop. Dick face. So let's go back into screenshots. Uh, let's go right down the bottom. Yeah, maybe I saved it to here copy and let's paste it onto the desktop there we go hopefully that's the one we've just created it is and that is the proper poorly poor from the game uh this poorly poor here is from a different account uh, free to play nice thumbnail uh <clears throat> uh so i could have added free to play which i may do uh Although technically this one is not going to be free to play because I do have two of the three expansions installed. Mm. So although it is free to play, uh, technically it's not a pure free to play account. I hope you're all enjoying this video. I love doing these sorts of videos. It's kind of a, a what I do on a regular basis on my Linux PC. It's no good me just keep installing different Linuxes and window managers and oh, this is this, this is that, this is what that looks like, this is what that does. I actually use my PC. Okay, so let's load up Paulie Paw, who's currently level 6. He's going to be my main character for this series. And he's probably the only one I will ever play. And it's an interesting series which you lot don't know about yet. Um, it's kind of a Guild Wars 2... Uh, versus Star Wars The Old Republic type series and which one will I get bored of first <laughs> very interesting uh, ok so because I have the other two expansions I can be a naughty boy uh, really so opening H makes you run really opening H shouldn't make you run no it doesn't I must have pressed an auto run key. I am in the Chab Alonso's guild. What other guild would I ever be in other than the Chab guild? Out of respect for my lovely, lovely friend. My internet friend, of course. Uh, so, what am I going to do? Well, I want to complete everything that I can complete. But I can cheat. Uh, he, if I use the level 80 boost, he'll instantly be level 80. He'll get a full set of level 80 gear. Uh, he'll unlock travel to the silver wastes. And we have try before committing. So let's begin the trial. Boost this character to level 80. Yes, please. So we're teleported to the silver wastes. Now, <coughs> why would I boost it to level 80 when... I want to do all the content and he'll get to level 80 anyway. Well, because he will be playing in a full set of level 80 gear, first of all, uh, which should make the base content much easier. Uh, and secondly, for me, the goal of this character is exploration. It's not fractals, it's not raids, it's not dungeons, it's just about pottering. Uh, thank you very much so level 8 we have a level 80 mentor so he, hopefully uh, disabled during the trial oh ok 
So this is our mentor. Uh, oh, of course, yeah, he needs his build doing, he needs everything doing, doesn't he? Uh, this is not going to be as easy as what I thought. Oh, and it's not going to allow me to move that neither. Uh, I have some questions. How does my level 8 tr 80 trial? Until you leave the silver wastes, you can either undo your level boost or make it permanent by using the level 80 boost item in your inventory again. Thank you. Right. Uh, okay, so... Equipment wise, what's always oh, already got a f oh wow, an absolute full set of level 80 gear. Beautiful, beautiful. So, what have they given him? They've given him a staff, an exotic staff, and I want wand and focus. So, uh, what gear have they given him? Oh, celestial gear. Oh, well, I'll have a bit of that. That's helpful. Okay, so... Uh... Uh... So, let's see... What build he's got? I wanted a core build because that's all I've got access to. So he's got arcane, water, and fire as his main build, which is fine. Glyph of elementals, firestorm, lightning flash, mistfall. Okay, and glyph of elemental, heal yourself and gain a boon based on your attunement. Nice. Nice. So that's the core build. Um, uh, can I save it? Yeah, elementalist build. So that's my core build. So if I change it, I can always restore it from that build there. What about uh, traits? Everything's automatically unlocked, apart from elite specs, which is fine. So, in effect, we've got a very core cool build. Okay, so I need to leave Wizard's Vault. Oh, this is your login, daily login reward. Uh, so, we can take that on the account. He's only got 125, because this is not my main account. Restoring the gate grid at the Eye of the North. Well, I'm not really that concerned about doing that. Uh, so, what do I need? Uh, there's a trading post. So, I need a trading post. Because I need to go and get him an exotic wand and focus. And I really don't want to spend much dollar on it. And I do want him, as well as completely exploring everywhere, I do want him to have the uh, the Chaos Gloves from Guild Wars 1. Uh, so, weapons. We've only got a little bit of money, so... Uh, uh, scepters. Level 8 is what we want. But we want... Uh, Cheap, cheap under cheerful. Tribal scepter of rage, power, vitality, and condi. Superior sigil of rage. Gain quickness for three seconds upon critically hit hitting a foe. And it's 61 silver. Um, and that is power and vitality. Really not what we wanted. We wanted. I guess power and ferocity. And that's a yellow. What's that? Power, precision, healing power. Oh, that's no good. And that's a yellow. Mm. Which ain't the best. I'm trying to be, as Dave would call me, 
A cheap bastard. You cheap bastard, E.B. Uh... What we got here? The Spindrift Scepter. Power, precision and ferocity. And it's 38 silver. Uh, that'll do nicely. We'll have a bit of that. Uh, I think it's the only thing we need to buy, because I think we're lucky enough that we got ruined and everything else. Uh, with the free set of gear. Mm, I'll check. Uh, focus is what I'm after, isn't it? There we go, foci. Level 80. There we go. These are nice and cheap. Power, toughness and vitality. Well, that would be useful. Uh, power, precision, healing. I don't want to spend anything that's gold coloured. Power, precision, condi. Mm. And there's nothing on that at all. We only want stuff that costs silver. There we go. What's this got on it? Useless. We really want power, precision, and vitality. Power, toughness, and ferocity. Yeah, that'll do. We'll have a bit of that. I know this isn't, um, you know, your Lord Heisen type way of doing things, uh, but it really doesn't matter at the end of the day. It's all about enjoyment and having fun. Yes, please. And yes, please. So that's our two weapon sets. There we go. <clears throat> I think he's already roomed up. These won't be roomed up. Uh, so what room did it get? Force and accuracy. Uh, so maybe we need a rune of force and a rune of accuracy. Uh, but that is definitely got the measure and the pleasure for sure okay so that's our poorly poor uh, let's go to dies I've got uh, absolutely bugger all when it comes to die uh, unfortunately so I'm just going to start off like this and apply uh, and then we've got red. I want to do him scarlet red. Uh, because he's a fire mage. Uh, and I don't know how far he'll get before he died. Did. Eh. But we're not going to worry too much about that, are we? Just saying. Uh, what level is that? Ooh, God, he's got the celestial flame eye. Beautiful. Nice. Uh, so, he's pretty much done, dusted, and ready to go out into the world of Tyria. Okay, uh, I've already mapped all the keys, so we're good to go. Yeah, that's good. Why is that jumping? Anyway, oh... That's not good. Uh, and the other thing is heal. Yeah, that's mapped. Uh, don't bode well for the jumping puzzles. Just saying. Just putting that out there. So that's good. So the other thing I'd like to do, uh, and I'd like to give him, as he is a char, and he's my boy, is I'd like to give him uh, a rose on the backpack. So you'll have to bear with me here because I can't remember where to find the rose. But it's very attractive. <clears throat> so is it under... Uh, it might be under skins, actually. Skins. Mm, armor skins. Let's see if we can do a search for Rose, see what it brings up. That's it. Yeah. 
and we'll have a bit of that. No, I shouldn't really spend all this money, but hey ho, it's what it is. Uh, let's go to wardrobe, let's go to the backpack, and we should be able to put that straight on there. There we go. I can't. Uh, So it is a skin. So, although I've got it, I can't use it yet. Mm. It's a bit of a shitter, isn't it? Can't use it. No, because I need the... Uh, the Tidpool. Well, that's alright. We've got his rose uh, ready. Uh, to apply on the backpack. That's fine. Uh... What else? Don't know why I can't see his little flame eye, even though it's selected. Mm. Bit weird. What else? Uh, he needs some bags. How much money? We've only got a gold left. Mm. So, uh, do not concern yourself about the fact we've only got a gold left. Uh, so, other. Bags, maybe? Inventory bags. And... Mm, I want as cheap as possible. Did I just see nine gold? Ten slot wool bag. Mm. For nine silver, rather. Twelve slots are a lot more expensive, so... As we're starting out, we can upgrade these later on. Mm. That makes a difference because I want four. Forty-five silver. Dankershin. Got to have a bit of inventory space. Just say. Uh, and we're not going to worry too much about that. So, let's equip our new inventory space, which is amazing. Three, and we can put that back in there. Put that on there. Oh, I can't. Creb. Because I need to move that first, then that. Uh, and then put that on. And there we go. There's our combined inventory space. Not a lot, is it? No, but it's all we've got. Uh, the rest can sell. I can't move that, I don't think. No. Until I leave. Okay. So, uh, if we leave this place, have I got, yeah, Camp Resolve. I have to try and remember that for when I want to go back there. Uh, okay, so let's go back to our starter area. Consume, we're happy. Are you sure? Yeah, thank you. And travel. Lovely. So, now our beautiful Ellie is all set up and it's going to nag me about elite specialisations. Uh, and it's also going to nag me about buying. Um, the latest expansion, which I don't have. Uh, so, that's it, people. We are in the world of Tyria and good to go. Uh, I do have a mail. Urgent, report to your barracks. And, of course, we've got all this personal story available as we are now level 80. Even though we are down-leveled, We've got 50 silver in the bank. I'm assuming that's our old equipment. There we go. That's what I was racking, packing and stacking. So let's go and get rid of all this garbage before we start. Uh, they probably won't even want to buy it off of us. I'm guessing. 
Uh, but we'll sell what we can. Mm, they do want to buy it. Beautiful. Goodbye. So that should help keep our inventory clean. Uh, we could delete these because we no longer need them. Okay, so the first thing we'll need to do is before we start exploration and going through the uh, content, I can't make that any bigger for some reason, which is weird, is we actually need to unlock uh, Transmog. <coughs> and we'll do that by completing our first city, which will be our home starter city. So poorly pause, he doesn't have any titles, I don't think. Because this account hasn't achieved anything. No title. No. Which is fine. So, there we go, everybody. Our elementalist poorly poor is set up, ready for the onslaught that's about to behest your screens. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I've chosen arguably, debatably, the hardest class in game. It happens to be my favourite, and even though it's arguably the most difficult and finicky to play uh, and I've had a stroke so multiple button mashing uh, is not conducive with my current condition uh, but I reckon I can get away with doing most of the content with two maybe it's a push three buttons so we'll have a bit of that so there you go everybody thanks for watching please rate comment subscribe thumb the videos up or down I will see you for another wicked broken Ebes video.